what is good friends and welcome back yes after three days of waiting now we know who we will be facing in san francisco this is all the alliances uh, <laughs> and it's a little bit of ridiculous but guys you know what we voted for this yes uh, before registration napo sent a poll asking if we want to play this next conquest or wait for the next round the vast majority voted to play not to wait the reason is uh, if we wait well waiting sucks nobody likes to wait while everybody is playing in a conquest that's the first reason the second reason is if we wait we miss out on refined component basically okay and since we are in a good position to win a conquest naturally we want to collect as much refined component as possible that is the goal here we want to be stronger we want to keep our power uh, to stay competitive and the the third reason is for the paramount cup if we wait around then we lose point for the paramount cup i mean worst case scenario even if we wait just for this reason alone it's almost 100% guaranteed that we will make the, the top eight in the Paramount Cup. But I mean, all those three reasons together uh, made us decide not to wait. So we have to live with the consequence. This is our decision and we have to play with what we have. Why I'm saying it's a little bit ridiculous conquest. Well, we have Alliance. I, some of you saw the picture I post on my YouTube channel and just to uh, clarify things, uh, we are playing with or against Super Legend. Super Legend, they were showing a, a, a alliance power of 17 billion that most of them uh, remove their troop, try to lower their power to avoid a legendary one battlefield. It doesn't work this way this is the all-time power that counts when uh, you are in the matchmaking phase what do i mean by that if you look at the all-time power more info all-time power battle stats you see 322 million power this number only goes up only goes one way it cannot go uh, it cannot reduce it cannot lower it doesn't matter what you do it's like a ratchet tool once it go up it stays up so this is the number uh, Lilith is using to qualify you or as a reference of your power all right so let's get back to the matchmaking phase or the the uh, the, the selection phase now we have super legend from server 37 25.1 billion power we have inked phoenix from server 13 never played with them no i don't know them i saw them i try to find somebody i know but i do not know anyone cuban gang i think he's a youtuber uh, is he still a youtuber i don't know so yeah we got a powerful player here five for fighting a couple of strong players so this is server 13 all right now we have server uh, warrior s4 t mostly a vietnamese gang oh four four million power okay we got a strong guy here too but the rest is uh much weaker okay we have kill reapers from server 12 my old friends yes I don't think they expect to be a legendary one. They told me they were not, ex <laughs> they hope not to be a legendary one, but yet they got thrown in legendary one. A few powerful players here, cool gang, very uh, nice bunch of people. Then we have G28, 46.8 million power. This, the third most dominant alliance. We have top, oh, poor top, they tried to evade legendary one as well and they got thrown in once again hbr from server 12 so we have two allies from server 12 will they play together i don't know 61.2 million power and the funny thing is hbr and top they do not like each other if you look at top bio 
cross server enemy hbr so we're off to a good start both of them <laughs> neighbor on top of it so they will have a great time yeah so this is the matchmaking this is the alliance uh, we will play with or against i cannot confirm yet if hbr and uh, g27 will play uh, versus six other alliance uh, two versus six scenario not sure yet we will find out very soon uh hbr that's what they declare i don't I, I i'm not the chief here i'm not the air r5 i'm not even r4 i'm i'm not a baller and i'm not a shot caller so we will see uh, how it goes yeah, so this is the, the matchmaking. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm not going to lie, but this is what we want. We vote for it. So like I said, we have to play for it. Now, I'm, I'm still trying to uh, convince Lilith to merge or to put the two legendary one battleground in the same rotation. The reason is if you take those two battlegrounds, a two battlegrounds of eight players of eight alliances means 16 alliances that means we would be playing with s14 big mass small mass 24 peak and glory and hbr g27 and who else an eight alliance it doesn't matter who all right, maybe server 21. And Fraternity would be playing with uh, the smaller S14, server 7. They would play with Kill Reapers, maybe G28, Super Legend. And you know what I mean? So those two battlefield will be in the same rotation, meaning that the top eight alliance will face uh, between each other will face uh, in a stronger tier and the second uh, smaller tier uh, of legendary one would also be together so this way everybody would enjoy would have a better gaming experience they would face alliance uh, that is more of their strength a more balanced battlefield if you if you know what i'm trying to say so that would be the perfect scenario both of the battlefield will have a great time. We'll be able to collect a, a, a lots of points for the Paramount Cup. So in the best scenario, that would be it. But nobody wants to skip. Nobody wants to wait and, and um, wait their turn to be to change uh, their rotation. For the same reason I told you before, nobody wants to wait. Nobody wants to miss out on refined components, and nobody wants to miss out on Paramount Point. So if Lilith would say, "Listen, next round, everybody's gonna wait a little bit, but nobody will miss out on those uh, that good stuff." All right. So that would be the best scenario. So while I'm talking about this, I want to talk about one last thing. A lot of commanders are asking me, "Hey, Mag, you changed your name. Now you have a number." What's up with that? Well, in G27, that's how thing goes, okay? When you enter the alliance and when the, the alliance is registered for a conquest, every single account is being reviewed and you get a number. The number change every conquest. Why is that? It's the way for G27 to monitor your progress, okay? Um, and the number is based on your all-time power. The number I showed you earlier, if you click more, more info, all-time power, 322. So that's why I got the number 25, meaning that there are 24 other players more powerful than me. Okay, if you look at the, uh, the members, so the, 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 the biggest player in G27 is Dr. M or DRM. And after there's Napoleon, the leader, and then it goes, the list goes down just like that. So that's how you get that number. And uh, the other reason you see, not the other reason, but you, you notice that I don't have a city post. Why don't have a city post? I used to either be Supreme Commander or um, Deputy Supreme Commander. Now I don't have anything. When you join G27, you don't get a CD post yet. You will get that post based on the 
the fighting machine performance. After this San Francisco conquest, I will be assigned a city post. Uh, when you join G27, you're not entitled to anything. You need to earn your title. You need to earn your number. You have to work for it. And I think that is the perfect way of doing things. There's nothing worse than give a, uh, giving a, a, an awesome city post to a whale that doesn't do anything. Uh, a useless whale. Okay. If you want a good city post, you have you simply have to perform and earn it. All right. And every conquest, this is being reviewed just to make sure that you you keep working for it and you will. And if you deserve a good title, then you will get it. I know I will earn a I will receive a good title because I'm quite active. And this is the key here. So there's no exception. There's no favor to anyone. It doesn't matter if I make video for G27 or I promote the alliance. This is a fighting alliance and city posts are given to the worthiest soldier. So this is how it works, and I think it's a great recipe. Uh, this is the best way to keep um, track of your city post and make sure that everybody got the post he deserves. If you have any more questions regarding the matchmaking, and if, if you want to comment about that, I'm sure that some of you may be unhappy about what's going on. And if you comment, if you express yourself, Lilith, they are aware of the situation. And if we complain enough, they will fix it as they listen most of the time, friends. Okay. If we don't say nothing, nothing will happen. So am I, am I unhappy? Not super unhappy. I'm just a little bit disappointed. But like I said, we expect that. So it is what it is. And stay tuned for more content as the next video will probably be in San Francisco fighting our friends or enemy. That is it, friend. I hope that you will have a great week. Keep watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.